According to Iranian government sources, the F-313 car was designed and is indigenously produced in Iran by the Iran Aviation Industries Organization (IAIO), a division of the Ministry of Defense and IRAF. The project manager is Hassan Parvani. The aircraft design is a canard configuration. It is described as a stealth fighter built with advanced materials, a very low radar SIGNATURE4, and with low altitude operations capability. It was also claimed that the car can take off and land on short runways and has easy maintenance. Car has a payload capacity of carrying two 2,000 pound bombs or greater number of smaller smart guided missiles or at least six air to air missiles in the category of the PL 12. It features a downward wingtip device which Flightbubble.com noted vaguely resembles the Boeing Bird of Prey prototype, but with a more faceted design similar to the 1970s era Lockheed Have Blue that was developed into the now-retired F-117 Nighthawk. Flight Global also said, given the apparent small size of the aircraft and its single-engine design, the CAR-313 could be powered by reverse-engineered variants of the General Electric J85 turbojet. That Iran is known to have in its possession. Iran has General Electric J85s, as well as a dozen other jet engines, as a result of old Northrop F5s and other American aircraft in its inventory from pre-1979, as well as newer engines from Russia and China. Iran also builds various turbine engines like the Talawa 4 and Talawa 5 for its Uas. Iran claims they have designed the aircraft using Keisha 3 dimensional interactive design software and tested it using simulation software, including Gambit numerical grid generation software, fluent flow analysis and simulation software, CFD MODELS 7. And that they have additionally tested the aerodynamics using small sized jet and propeller flying models. Two days after the unveiling ceremony, Mare News Agency published the top 10 features of the fighter jet project. The aircraft was reportedly designed with extra stability and so does not need a fly by wire FBW, system. A prototype version of the CAR 313 was portrayed to have test flown at some point before the presentation. According to the head of the design team, two sub-sized models have been created and tested. One of the models uses a propeller engine, while the other uses a small micro-jet engine. The models were shown in a video clip, along with descriptions by the head of the design team. The same day. According to Haritz, the blurry video published by the Iranians, purporting to show the CAR 313 in flight, seems to show not a manned fighter jet, but a small radio operated drone, which agrees with what the designers said about the videos at the CAR 313 introduction ceremony. On 10 February 2013, the Iranian Minister of Defense said the claims made by the foreign media about the project are inaccurate and that the engine used by the design had been successfully tested. He also confirmed that the aircraft had not yet been flown, but that taxi and flight tests will occur in the near future. On 5 March 2017, Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Hossein Degan stated that the CAR 313 was ready for flight testing. It was described by the FARS news agency as a logistic aircraft for short distances and a light fighter jet used for military and training operations. On 15 April 2017, the prototype CAR 313 conducted taxi tests. This prototype, designated 08. introduced a number of changes over the models previously showcased, most notably an enlarged cockpit, dual jet exhausts, and a FLIR turret in the nose. Doubts of viability of aircraft.
there has been no independent verification of the status of development of this aircraft, and some commentators have even claimed that the aircraft is a hoax or a laughable fake. Media sources outside of Iran have raised the possibility that the demonstrated aircraft would not be able to meet stated performance and or that it may be a scale prototype or mock-up. with Cyrus Amini, a BBC News Persian service J-O-U-R-N-A-L-I-S-T, claiming that the aircraft looks like a cheap copy of the American F-22. Iran does not release technical details on its arsenals, so many of its claims about the aircraft are impossible to verify. According to Flight Global, unnamed Israeli experts say the indigenous fighter jet Iran presented on 2 February is nothing more than a very sleek plastic model. Further, the canopy appears to be constructed of basic plastic, the air intakes are unusually small, and the whole impression is of some plastic parts pasted to an old flying platform.